Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome back to our English class. So this is Teacher Dan and I'd like to share to you guys this uh, video you know, we should learn on how to speak English fluently, easily, and automatically. And these five tricks on how to speak English fluently, easily, and automatically in our daily lives because you know what, there were millions of people around the world that they are dreaming and spending a lot of money in order for them to speak English fluently, easily, and confidently. I hope that you are not one of them and you want to skip from them. Alright, so please don't leave any comments down below if you are not finishing this video. So please consider also subscribe and give likes and to share this video if you like this and if you think that this video could ever help to your friends or to other people also. So now I don't want to get your time or to prolong your time in this video. So number one, don't study single words especially for those beginners who are, are reading vocabularies or understanding vocabularies translating into their own native language. Ooh, another one, ice cream. You know, one of the famous uh, words and ice cream because many people love to eat ice cream. So the word ice cream, for example, why you don't need only to study ice cream and then translate into your own language? She loves, he loves, he likes to eat ice cream. John loves to eat ice cream, okay? So don't study any single words. And number two, don't study grammar. Why? Because grammar is always there. Once you create, once you use it, when you use the English, grammar is al already there. The grammar because we want to become a fluent. For example, what do you like to eat? Ice cream. You don't need, I like to eat ice cream. For fluency, you need only for a question and answer. What do you like to eat? Ice cream. What do you like to eat? Ice cream. All right, so don't study grammar. Number three tricks that we should um, learn on how we could speak English fluently, easily, and automatically. Number three is that always learn to listen a short story with question and answer. Always learn. A short story with question and answer. For example, what, what kind of is a short story teacher than that I should learn to listen? For example, is that there was a man named Teacher Dan. And Teacher Dan, he, he is a, he's a teacher who is working right now at the Wanpu Banlang School. Short story. And then the question is, who, was, who is that man working at the uh, what for Balang School? Teacher Dan. His name is Teacher Dan. So next move is number four tips that we are always going to, to learn short story. Repeat the same short story with question and answer and change into three tenses. Change with tenses. For example, the future tense, the past tense, and the present tense. So for example, he is. He is, he was, he will, he will, he is, he was, he was a teacher for long years at Wat Pubang Lang School. He is a teacher now and he will be going to be a teacher. He, he will be a teacher like that. So we need to change the three tenses, all right? And then the number five tricks on how we could speak English fluently, easily, and confidently is the number five, which is find a person that you're going to have the same interest, the same likes. The same likes, the same interest, what I mean, because if you don't find a person that doesn't have interest to speak English fluently, easily, and automatically, and confidently, it might be he or he will be embarrassing you. Alright? He's going to embarrass you and might be that you will be going to stop and you will be disappointed. Why? Because these people doesn't like to speak English and then you always talk English with her and him and he will be going to embarrass you. 
All right, so that is the best five tricks that we should know on how we could speak English fluently, easily, and automatically, and confidently. We should, number one, don't study any single words. Number two, don't study grammar. Number three, always listen to a short story with question and answer. And number four, always play the audio and video, the, short, the same short story, and change into three sentences. And number five, finally, the last one but not the least, is that find a person that the same interest with you to speak English every day. And that's all. And I hope that you like this video, these uh, five tips that we could speak English fluently, easily, and automatically. This is Teacher Dan. I would like to say thank you, thank you so much. And see you again on our next video. Don't forget to consider subscribe and like and share to your friend this video. See you.